Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel and happy March. Can you believe that it is already March? It is my birthday month. I turn 27 this month and I will be celebrating it in my favorite city in the world, New York City. I will be in New York City for my entire birthday week. I'm going to see nine Broadway shows. I'm going to meet up with all my friends in New York. I'm going to go to all the great dinners and shopping and all sorts. So for a whole week, I won't be burning any candles, which is crazy. I can't remember the last time I went a whole week without burning candles, but I did, however, get through quite a bit of candles and skincare and wax melts and all sorts of good stuff this month. And I am going to include beauty in this at the end of the video. So let me know if you're interested in more skincare videos for me. I love skincare. I leave it all to Caroline Hirons, if you know who she is. She's on YouTube. She's big on Instagram. She's a UK facialist. She's everybody, everybody who knows skincare knows Caroline Hirons. She's incredible. She just launched her own brand, which... I did order the whole range, so I've been trying it out and really loving it. So again, let me know down below if you'd be interested in more skincare videos from me. But for now, we have some skincare, we have some beauty, we have some candles, and we have lots of wax melts. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with candles, I actually have a really funny candle. I had this candle for a long time, and I don't know why I never burned it. It was literally sitting in my collection. Look at how old this Bath & Body Works candle is. Now, just in comparison, this is a Bath & Body Works candle that we know today. Three Wick Yankee, or Yankee candle, Bath & Body Works candle. This little tiny candle, Hawaiian hibiscus. Look, they even decorated the lids back then. Look at that, like flowers. This says... Experience an island getaway with the fragrant hibiscus, Hawaii's native flower, combined with creamy coconut and jasmine notes. $4.50. Look how teeny this is. I literally just burned this in my bathroom. I mean, it had no strength or throw. I literally just lit it to light it. And I can, I just cannot believe that I still had this. So I finished this up, random little candle. Remember when they used to sell these? They first were like plastic lids and they were like three for 10. And then they added these like metal lids. So crazy. But speaking of Bath and Body Works candles, I also finished a raspberry thumbprint. It had, whoa, almost dropped it there. It had the really decorative deer and tree packaging. And the notes read buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar. I finished this completely. I did burn it all the way down. As you can see, Two of the wicks burned a little longer than the other one. This was fine. It is just like a raspberry jam scent. I really thought this would be more popular than it was. When I first heard this come out, I was like, this is going to be so popular. Everybody's going to talk about it. And then I feel like nobody talked about it. And it was all over at semi-annual sales. So I don't know if it was a flop, but it does. It smells like a buttery shortbread cookie with a hint of like a dollop of raspberry jam. Not my favorite bakery. The burn was okay, but again, it got super puny wicks halfway through, which is pretty standard for Bath & Body Works now. So I finished that guy up. And then I also finished a single wick of Strawberry Melon. This is a new signature single wick with the lid, with like the silver lids. This reads, fresh strawberries, crisp honeydew, and sweet red apple. This was fine. I really didn't smell it when it was burning, so I really can't speak. It did burn all the way down. It did get puny wicks towards the end, as always. You can really see when it starts to get puny wicks, too. All that sludge on the side of the jar. So, oh well. Anyway, finished that guy up. I finished from my friends over at 1820. I finished Borealis. I loved this fragrance. Notes of juniper, cedar, resin, alder, galbanum, damp earth, and inky night sky. This was a very creamy, perfumey fragrance. It burns clean all the way down. It's a plant-based wax formula. This is part of her Bee Elixirs line. So more na nature-esque fragrances. Really love her candles. I have a stash of them. 
literally I have like 12 over there. Always burn them. Always enjoy them. 1820 if you want to support a small business. Now I finished this Kringle candle. Now, if you're looking at it, you're like, well, that doesn't look finished, Drew. It's because I stuck it in the candle crock because honestly, it started to smell burnt to me. And this is tea and cookies from Kringle. It looks like this because obviously I put it in the candle crock and it just melted all the way. There's no scent left in this, but it just, at first I enjoyed it. It was like a buttery shortbread cookie. I didn't get much tea from this. This was definitely more like a bakery cookie fragrance, but when it burned, I don't know why, but it just had an odd burnt scent to it. I didn't notice anybody else say it, so I'm not sure if it's because this was an older candle or what. I typically have great luck with Kringle candles. Disclaimer, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. I do have a discount code, DrewYock15, which saves you 15%. And they just launched the spring and summer candles. I have cake pops right here. Let me tell you, it's amazing. If you saw my initial first sniffs, it just got better on warm. So those are available. You can use my code to save you 15%. It is an affiliate code, and I do earn a small commission when you place the order with me. Just putting that out there. But yeah, it was okay. And again, I'm an ambassador. I like the brand, but every brand has some things that didn't work for people. I did not find that this worked for me. When I added it to the crock, it just left a light baked scent in the kitchen, but it wasn't anything to write home about. The jar is beautiful though. I mean, look at those beautiful, beautiful cookies. Like those hand-painted jars that they do are beautiful. But other than that, it didn't perform well for me. Now, the rest, right? Yeah, mm, I don't want to say the rest are hits, but okay. I finished Mon Amour. Now, I love Mon Amour. If this comes out in a four wick, I'm totally buying it. Notes of vanilla orchid, crimson blooms, sugar crystals, star jasmine, caramel strands, oak moss, red amber, gilded musk, and sandalwood. That's a lot of notes to say it's a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. This smells so good. I'm even tempted to put this last bit in the crock just to melt it and get this fragrance out. Let me tell you, this Mon Amour fragrance is a light fragrance, but it performs so well in a bedroom setting. I burned this entire candle in my bedroom. Every time I lit it, the room was just surrounded by beautiful Baccarat Rouge 540, perfumey, smoky, floral, creamy, Everything that you know and love about that fragrance, Mon Amour is it. It's still available. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. I definitely need to get a few more of these. I love, I love, I love Mon Amour. It's a staple Kringle for me. Now, one from the Reserve line that I initially really liked, but let me tell you, after burning it a few times, I was ready for this one to hit the curb. And this is Dalgona. Now, Dalgona is whipped coffee. And yeah, oh, I, okay, I finished it. Here's the thing. It does smell like coffee, but there's like a cinnamon sugar note in the background. And it almost is like, I don't know how to describe it other than like you burnt coffee. You know, whenever you, back in the day, I mean, I have an espresso machine now, but back in the day, and some people still do make a pot of coffee and it can burn pretty easily if you leave the like coffee grinds in the coffee maker. That's sort of what this gave me. It sort of gave me that like burnt coffee grinds fragrance. So I was not a fan of that fragrance, but as I burned it more, I got a lot of the coffee, but it wasn't anything to write home about. It was strong. I just didn't really care for the fragrance that I was getting from it. And these reserve candles burn a long time. So I was like, oh, 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 finish, finish, finish. So I was so happy to finish it, but it did perform well as all Kringle candles do for me. And it just was not my favorite type of fragrance. Now, Another one that I thought I was going to love, but I also was pretty tired of it, macarons. Now, it says macaroons. Those are pictures of macarons. I rest my case. But I see a lot of reviews about this, and people love, love, and rave about this. 
but there's like a buttery note to me in this candle that became a little overwhelming to me over time. And when you have a jar this size, you don't want like, you know, you better commit to a scent because you're going to be burning it quite a long time. It did burn, as you can see, all the way down, literally no wax left, but that buttery note almost became overwhelming. It did burn super clean, super strong. This was a strong performer. I burned this in my dining room and the entire burn of the candle performed well. I just, that buttery note became a little bit overwhelming to me. I know people are excited to get this restocked. It's all yours when it does get restocked. I'll be stocking up on Jelly Donut. But the winner, winner candle of the week is Vanilla Rose Cone. For one, obsessed with the label that it's like vanilla ice cream roses. It's beautiful. And this waffle cone, as always, it burned down completely all the way down. Nothing stuck to the side of the jar. This was amazing. This is a gourmand rose. I had this burning in one room and I had pink petal tea cake in my office and I had this in my bedroom. I still have pink petal tea cake in my candle lamp getting the last bit out of it, but this is so great. This is so great. This is, you get the waffle cone, but it's very light. It's like a light whipped bakery fragrance, very light vanilla, nothing overwhelming, not perfumey, just a very light baked vanilla waffle cone. And then a hint of those rose petals. Oh my God, it is stunning. It is stunning. It is stunning. I will repurchase this. I don't think if you burn this in like an open concept or a living room, it would fill the space, but I burned this in my bedroom and every time from here to here, it was perfection and I wanted more. And I was so sad when it burned out because I don't have any more. I don't have any backups, but I would purchase a backup of this. I loved Vanilla Rose Cone. If you don't like roses, I'd say steer clear of this because it's definitely a perfumey rose. Now the picture reads like a white rose, but to me it smells like a pink rose, like a very light pink, highly fragranced rose candle. So if you're not into rose fragrances, I would steer clear of this, but if you love rose fragrances and you want something different that's not just a traditional rose, definitely try Vanilla Rose Cone from Kringle. So I finished the candles. Now let's move on to wax melts. The first thing I finished was a brick of, whoa, cucumber and cactus water from Scentsy. Completely finished that one up. This was from the Spring Summer Brick Collection of 2023, I believe. I just finished this. We had a really warm day, like 65 here last week. And I put the rest, I had four cubes left. Chopped each one in half and put them in my warmers in my dining room, living room, kitchen. This is nice. I feel like it's one of those watery, like cucumbery, cucumbery fragrances. I prefer aloe water and cucumber if I'm going to get a cucumber fragrance. That hint of pineapple and aloe water and cucumber just makes it more bright and juicy to me. This was very fresh, very spa-like. Doesn't last a ton in the warmers, but whenever it does go, I do enjoy it. It's a good bathroom scent, a good clean, a good fresh scent, but not one I necessarily would repurchase. Next, <gasps> listen, I was like... I want to do something that I just absolutely love. I don't have any backups, but I melted two, two bars of blue berry cheesecake. Listen, you love it or you hate it. I love blueberry cheesecake. This comes back in every catalog. Everybody who knows Sensi knows blueberry cheesecake. Some people think it smells a little sour because of the cream cheese note. To me, this smells just like a blueberry cheesecake. I do think it's missing the graham cracker element to a cheesecake. This smells more like the cheesecake filling with a rich, bright blueberry compote. Lasted a couple days in my warmers and all day when I was home and I melted this, I had a smile on my face because it was so good. So bright, so creamy, so cheerful. If you have not tried blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy, definitely do it. I love, definitely a favorite. I did French lavender in my bedroom. I enjoyed this. It's definitely a very herbal lavender. I wouldn't repurchase it though, but it was very relaxing when it was going. 
I finished Pink Sunshine. I did this two different times in my bathroom. This was part of the Valentine's Day collection, I want to say. The Valentine's Day collection, I believe. It's fine. It's fruity. I feel like this is one that was okay. I didn't write home about it. I didn't write home about it. Nothing to write home about with it, but it was pleasant. Cozy Cardigan. This is actually the one that I have going in my bedroom now, and I love this. I love. Cozy Cardigan is so nice, so warm, so comforting. It's like a scent you just cleaned, you just dusted, you just put fresh sheets on the bed, and you want a fragrance that smells clean and snuggly. This is one you stay home, you snuggle with. Oh, I love. If you haven't tried Cozy Cardigan, I definitely recommend it. Next was a Disney licensed bar, Just Keep Swimming from Finding Nemo. This was okay. One of those aquatic scents. It kind of leans like sweet, overwhelming aquatic. I don't necessarily think this is unique in any way. I did this one in my bathroom. And this one and this one, which this one is known for it, uh, Pacific Mist. Oh, it's so weird. I, the particles, yeah, this I did not like. This was like, they both have, woo, I'm like going on a tangent. Just Keep Swimming and Pacific Mist, I alternated on different days in my bathroom. I change my bathroom wax probably every three or four days. It's a small room. I put four cubes in and just let it go for days and days and days. But they both had this sweet, overwhelming scent to me that was not pleasant. And Pacific Mist kind of smelled like a dirty bathroom, not a clean bathroom. Yeah, mm -mm. I did not, not, not poopy bathroom, but I don't know, like mildewy almost. And they both had these particles in the warmer. I don't see them in the wax, but whenever you warm it up, there were like floating particles in the wax, which was super freaky. So neither one of those would be repurchases for me. Evening Sky, one of the new releases that is out in this catalog season. I could barely smell this. This was like, um, they call it Dashing's like older sister. I can't smell it. I burned it. I melted it in my bedroom. I couldn't smell it at all. The entire bar, I did it in my bedroom. Everything performs in my bedroom. I could not smell it. So I have another bar of it. I'm going to let it sit and I'm just going to let it marinate. So, and we'll see how it goes towards the end of the catalog season. And then I did, oh, from the Valentine's Day collection, Simply the Zest. I loved. 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 This is way better than that Zest one that they did last year. This is bright orange Zest. This is in my club. I would totally melt this in my bedroom, in my bathroom. I did this one in my bathroom. But anytime you want something bright, uplifting, citrusy, this is great. This and Squeeze the Day, all lemon sorbet, sun-kissed citrus, all of those would be in rotation. I really enjoyed this really thoroughly. This was great. It lasted a couple days in the warmers. Really, really enjoyed Simply the Zest. And then I finished Pods in Fall Into Love. I actually brought these with me to my last New York trip in my hotel. I'm going to bring a pack of pods with me when I go for a week. I'm actually going to bring two sets. I'm going to bring a wall fan diffuser for the bathroom and then a tabletop fan diffuser for the main space of the hotel. So I'll still get some set because even though I'm not burning candles or melting wax, I'm going to be diffusing some pods during that time. Fall into love. If you know me, I love Fall Into Love. I have it in the laundry. I stocked up in the laundry before it got discontinued. I added these bars to my club. Fall Into Love and Frosted Cedar were my two winners from the fall and winter season. The entire fall and winter season. They are ones that I will totally repurchase. They're in my club. They're not going anywhere. Fall Into Love is like this eucalyptus, balsam, fruity fragrance. I don't really love balsam or eucalyptus fragrances but somehow it all worked together synergistically it was beautiful and i loved fall into love now if you were only here for the candles and wax thank you so much i have a tiny little bit of beauty and skincare here nothing crazy i finished a gel from bath and body works in kitchen mandarin sparkling mandarin fresh thyme and cedar wood i love kitchen mandarin I prefer it over Kitchen Lemon. I think Kitchen Mandarin is so warm 
it's like a warm citrus versus like a bright lemon. To me, kitchen lemon can lean a little bit cleaner where this one is just really bright citrus. Again, love the citrus. And fun fact, sunlit palm trees, which is um, a foam soap this year, is a mix of mahogany teakwood and kitchen mandarin. So definitely try it. If you like kitchen mandarin, but want a little bit of a masculine hint to it, definitely try that. I finished the Gingerbread Man Hydrating Body Cloud Kink Cloud Cream from Philosophy. I'm trying to be better about doing more body care. I definitely use skincare twice a day, but I need to be better about using body creams. I don't love the scent of the Gingerbread Man. If you know it from Philosophy, it is like a ginger ale or ginger soda versus like a gingerbread, which is so weird because... Whoops. This is Ginger Red Man. It should smell like a ginger red cookie, but it doesn't. It smells like a ginger, ginger, like ginger ale. It's like a sparkling ginger fragrance. But the Cloud Cream with vitamin infused beads. Love this formula. It's a super light whipped formula. It glided on my body skin. It felt great. Didn't feel greasy. And you could smell the fragrance throughout the day. So I did really enjoy the formula there. I finished the Hands to Foco Claymation uh, Hair Clay. This was okay. I feel like hair clays pretty much work fine for me as long as they're a clay and they really are thick because I need a good thick clay to keep my thick hair up. So this was fine. I got this on Amazon. I'm currently using a Kevin Murphy one right now. I prefer that. I finished the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. I've gone through so many of these over the years. I really love this. Super, I cleaned it right out. It is a lightweight water cream. Has poor refining wild rose extract. It's a beautiful lightweight face moisturizer. Highly recommended if you have oily skin or troubled skin. Definitely the water cream is the way to go. And then I finished from Sunday Riley, the Ceramic Slip Cleanser. I've also gone through many of these. Really enjoy this. Gentle plant-based plant -based cleanser pulls out impurities while pulling in skin height. Pulling in clean hydration for smaller looking pores and a clean, radiant complexion. I use this twice a day. I use this as my morning cleanse and then I use it at night as my second cleanse. I use a balm cleanser before to take off all my SPF. Wear your SPF, guys. Definitely super important to wear SPF every day even if you're not going outside. But yeah, really enjoyed that. And boom, my basket is empty. Oh, not completely. I have a wallflower in here. Oh, almond croissant. I have this. This is from Bath & Body Works in my kitchen. Toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, and flaky croissant. Listen, smells like plastic. Really weird. Whenever I burn, I didn't burn the candle. I didn't get the candle. But Melanie over at Mr. Kong's mom said the same thing that I did. It smells really artificial and the wallflower is almost done in my kitchen and I will be happy when it's done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Let me know what candles, wax melts, skincare, all the things you finished this month down below and what was a highlight. I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you. Bye.